Hey everyone, it's Pam, and today I'm talking about popular games that I've never played. This is a tag that's been going around for a little while, and I was tagged by the Retro Lectors. I'll include a link to their channel in the description. As you can probably tell by their name, they do a lot of collecting, so they do a lot of game room tours and collection videos and talk about local events. They are from Ontario, like I am. Uh, you should give them a look. So some people have been approaching this video as games they're embarrassed to never have played or games that they regret never playing. Um, embarrassment doesn't really come into it for me. Um, I'll talk a little bit about whether I think I'm missing out by not playing these games as I do them. Uh, but I thought I would give my top five. Uh, had I done this a couple months ago, there would have been some real shockers on there, like the entire Mega Man series, which I finally played Mega Man 2 and reviewed it a few months ago, and also the original Legend of Zelda, which I am playing through right now. Well, not right now, but, you know, like, within the last few days. So anyway, here's my first one. The first thing I've never played is the entire Pokemon series. Um, I think I was just a touch too old when Pokemon came out, so as a result I have missed the entirety of the Pokemans. Uh, I think the biggest issue besides the age thing was that Pokemon is something I've always associated with handhelds, and I've just never really been a big fan of handhelds. Um, I did have an original Game Boy at some point. It was sort of like a hand-me-down. I had it sort of very late after it came out, and when I played it, which was mainly just in the car, it was mainly to play blackjack in a casino games game. So uh, Pokemon wasn't really something that interested me. I like RPGs, but... Um, I don't feel like I've missed out too much, and I don't really plan on playing any Pokemon in the future. I'll just have to deal with being completely baffled when people name a Pokemon, and I have no idea what they're talking about. So the next game I've never played is Metroid. Any Metroid games in the series. Uh, when I was a kid, this isn't a game I ever owned or rented. As far as I know, none of my friends who had an NES had it, so I never played it at their houses. So it was something that I really didn't even know about until much later in life. And the reason I haven't played it sort of since then is that Metroid is very much a Nintendo property. As far as I know, there's never been a Metroid on a non-Nintendo console, I don't think. Um, and as much as I'm a fan of the NES, my feelings on every console after that range sort of from indifference to outright hostility. When I hold these controllers, I'm overcome with the urge to set them on fire. I hate them. So Metroid is something that just never really interested me as my Nintendo playing post NES has always been fairly minimal. The next games that I've never played are the original Warcraft RTS games. Uh, I was a big fan of World of Warcraft at one point. I played it for nine years of my life. And I think I sort of missed out by not playing those original RTS games because I didn't have that sort of um, caring about the story and the characters. I didn't sort of have that background knowledge. And as a result, uh, for my entire time playing World of Warcraft, I didn't really read anything like lore quest text. I didn't care about it at all. I just wanted to kill raid bosses with my friends. So I feel like I might have gotten a little more out of the WoW story had I played the Warcraft RTSs. And I also just like strategy games. But again, I feel like maybe I was a little too young, actually, for the Warcraft RTSs. Although I don't know exactly when they came out, but whatever, whenever they came out, they were just never on my radar until after I started playing World of Warcraft, and uh, I think I might eventually play one, one day when I have time. So the next is Final Fantasy 1 through 6. Final Fantasy 7 was the first Final Fantasy game that I've ever played. Um, I never played Final Fantasy 1 on the NES, as I mentioned. No Super Nintendo, so I didn't play the sort of next series of games either. Uh, so 7 was my introduction to the series, and 
every once in a while I get that little like twinge, like, oh, I should have played the original, you know, Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy VI, because um, I hear lots of good things about them. But at the same time, uh, Final Fantasy has sort of been dead to me since uh, X2. That's the last game I really enjoyed in the series. I tried 12, I tried uh, 13, a couple of the 13 games, and I really didn't like the direction that they went, so I feel like I'm sort of past the Final Fantasy stage of my life, and it's too late to go back. And the last series of games that I've never played is any of the Metal Gear Solid games. Now, of all the games that I've listed, this is the one that I actually feel like I need to play at some point. Um, I'm a big fan of Snatcher, which is one of Kojima's early games, and I feel like I'd really like the Metal Gear Solid series. It's just not something uh, that I ever really got into when I was younger. I do have the first three, the Collector's Edition. I picked this up. Uh, last year sometime, and it's sort of just been sitting on my shelf waiting for me to play with it. So one day I will get to them, because as I said, of all the games, this is what I feel like I'm most missing out on. So one day Metal Gear Solid. So that's it. Those are five very popular game series that I've never played. Uh, I'm not particularly embarrassed to have never played them, but I do feel like, depending on who you ask, most of these are game staples. So I would like to tag a couple people to continue on with this. And the first is Daria from Daria Plays RPGs. And the second is Life Spiller 79. If you haven't checked out either of those people, I've shouted them out before, but if you haven't checked them out yet, I'll include links in the description and uh, hope they have fun with this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.